Mari 4.7 introduces custom procedurals to your texturing workflow. Custom procedurals act as a bridge between our existing gizmo and material systems, giving you the ability to author procedurals that retain their reference texture maps and are bundled neatly together with a thumbnail preview for use in the shelf. Like gizmos and materials, creating a custom procedural begins in the node graph. I can create a custom procedural node using the right click nodes menu or by pressing tab and searching the drop down list. In the export tab of the node properties palette, we can designate the custom procedural's intended use by selecting one of three options. Colour procedural, which uses colour management. Scalar procedural, which can be used to create non-colour patterns like roughness or normal textures. Or procedural mask, which allows you to publish procedurals that can be used directly as masks for both layers and nodes. Once I've decided on how to use my node, I can start building up a network within my custom procedural group. As a content creator, I may want to be able to control certain attributes at the top level to allow the artist to customise the mask effect. I can do so by using the Promote button, which, just like with materials, will expose the knob to the parent group. Once I'm happy with my custom procedural, I can head back over to the Export tab in the Node Properties. On Export, a custom procedural is validated against the following criteria. It cannot contain any paint nodes or geometry specific image sets. It cannot contain any bake point nodes. And it must have at least one output port. If any of these criteria are not met, Mari informs you of what adjustments need to be made and aborts the export process. To import a custom procedural into your shelf, right click and select Import Items. You'll see that the MPC file format is now supported. We've added extra filtering options to allow you to isolate shelf content to custom procedural types. Once you've imported masks and procedurals into your shelf, you can create new layers with them using the Add Procedural Layer button on the Layer Stack toolbar. A menu appears with a drop down list separating each type into a sub menu. You can also drag and drop a procedural from the shelf to the layer stack. A procedural mask is applied to the selected layer, like so. Colour and scalar procedurals are added as a new layer. The attributes we promoted in the node graph are now at the top level and can be manipulated by the artist. Selecting any of the procedural type icons opens their group subgraphs so you can make quick changes as required. Stay safe and happy painting!